Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you today? Uh, I'm tired. 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 Okay. Yes, you yes, stay. I'm okay. Um, I was worried because I thought I was not going to be able to teach today, but yes, fortunately, now I have a electricity service again. Um, hopefully, the rest of the people is going to be um, getting into the meeting later um, when they get like a normal services, right? But this power outage is going to affect many of us. And I hope that the internet connection can be like at least a decent <laughs> for us to be able to continue with the program. And thank you for making the effort to be on time on your class. So um, I'm not going to. Luz. Yes. 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 Yes, in some some uh, yes, in some parts of the country, but yes, I'm I know that many people see getting issues to get in because they are still without uh, electricity services. So uh, I'm not going to check attendance right now because we just have five in the meeting. So Yes, we're going to start with the class and I'm going to check attendance later, hoping that your classmates can join the meeting uh, maybe later. I sent the presentation for today's class and we're going to start talking about uh, eight important job skills that's going to be um, something for your vocabulary and pronunciation also to practice your speaking, okay? So, can you read the number one, Juan Ricardo Menedemo? Can you house a computer? Use a computer? A computer. Uh -huh. computer. Thank you so much. Number two, Jose Arnoldo. Moises? Okay, number two. Can you manage other manage. people? Manage. Manage. Mm -hmm. Can you manage other people? Okay. Noemi, number three. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Are you good at uh, public speaking? Excellent. Francisco Nehemias, number four. Ruben de Jesus, number four. Thank you, this other how to, to sing. Thank you. Helen, number five. Can you solve problems? Okay. Let's see, uh, number six, Moises. Do you ma manage money well? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Noemi, continue with number seven, please. Okay, do you work well with people? Excellent, Juan Ricardo, number eight. So you speak other language. Excellent one, very good. Thank you all for your participation. So those are eight important job skills. And so now, nowadays, you know, uh, uh, almost all things that you need to do or most of the tasks that you need to use a computer. Um, many people work in groups or in teams with different people. Um, not all of us need to speak in public, but yes, can be like, um... okay, Francisco, thank you for letting us know that you're still working. So we're going to keep that in mind. Uh, you're just listening. Thank you. Um, so those are eight important job skills. I'm going to give you time for you to think 
And this one, which of these skills, you know, skills are abilities, similar like abilities. Which of these skills do you think are most important and why? And also we're going to discuss what jobs do you think you, you might be good at? Uh, I personally think that um, it's very important to know how to use a computer because many jobs nowadays involve um, the use of a computer, manage other people, no, not really, or probably sometimes. Mm, let's see, teach others how to do things is important because um, people Please. keep on hiring new people, new, new employees, and they use uh, the elder employees to teach the new ones. So Did that's you? important, yes. With all this, uh, she do you train and I really my portion in my? Okay, that's important to you, that's well. Uh, and work well with other people, yes, I, indeed, I think it's just important because uh, you not work alone unless that you're your own boss, right? So you need to work with other people in many, many um, job positions. And um, speaking other languages can uh, give you more opportunities. So for me, those four are the most important. What about you, a volunteer? Moises, which ones are important for you? Mm. Which, which deal? Which of these skills do you think are most important and why? Ah, okay. Perfect. Uh, for example, do you work well with people? Uh, I think that is is better skill for for ability with other people. For uh, for example, in the workplace, uh, other place. I think that. Mm -hmm. Only that one? Are you considered there are other of skills important? Uh, number one, two, mm -hmm. because uh, the computer is important in, in money. Money is much better. Or oh. Many. Or a lot of places, a lot of... Uh... A lot of place, a lot of words. It's important, important to use computer. Yes, in a lot of places, it is important that people know how to use a computer. There, um, I cannot imagine a, a, a place where you don't need to use a computer. So yeah, that's important. Anything else? Thank you so much, Moises. Anybody else would like to participate and say what, why do you think uh, or which of these eight skills are most important? Me teacher, mm -hmm. me teacher uh, I think that the eight, eight job skills are important, very important. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I think I, I have, I have a, I can I can use a computer, and I I manage uh, I can manage money well, because I work with in uh, in presupuestos. Okay, budget. Budget and in in the projects, in the projects and in in. The manage of the budget is it on um, very well. 
Uh -huh. you, you need to um, administrate the money um, properly. Yes, you need to, to do it um, the best you can, right? So important skill for you? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Mayaner, other people are good public. It's back here. a world. How to eat. Mayaner. Yes. Oh. Como se dice archivo en. Archivo. 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 Finish. Okay, thank you so much for your participation now. Um, then also we have a conversation. So the topic of the conversation is, I need a job. I need yes, a job. I am fresh. So I'm going to play the recording and I'm going to ask for everybody to be on mute. So you can repeat at home and then we're going to go through vocabulary, pronunciation. And after that, we're going to go ahead and practice in the breakup rooms. Yeah. Unit 10, I hate working on weekends. Page 64, Exercise 2, Conversation. I need a job. Part A, Listen and Practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed? How about this telephone sales job? You call people and try to sell them magazines? That sounds boring. And anyway, I'm not very good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I love traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. I think I'll apply for it. Any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Teacher, the pronunciation, the cruise, cruise? Cruise ship, cruise ship. Cruise ship, cruise, cruise ship. ship. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Uh, uh, way, eh? um, way. Oh. Um, way. Anyway. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you. What do you say in the white chip? Seria with the chip. While at the down in the yes, this one. While yes, while the Why? ship is at sea. Uh huh. While the ship is at sea. Check the last sentence. The last sentence. Yes. If the pay is good, I think I'll apply for it.
Teacher, buenas noches. Um, voy a estar solo de oyente por ahorita, sí, porque tengo un problema acá, pero me voy a quedar conectada. Ok, um, thank you so much for letting us know. Ok. Um, it was feeling, I think. Ok. Um, all right, anything else? Okay, so let's listen one more time and uh, then we're going to go to the breakout rooms. Unit 10. I hate working on weekends. Page 64, exercise two, conversation. I need a job. Part A, listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed? How about this telephone sales job? You call people and try to sell them magazines? That sounds boring. And anyway, I'm not very good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I love traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. I think I'll apply for it. Now let us practice in the breakout rooms. Remember that the conversation is in the PowerPoint I sent to the WhatsApp group before today's class. So let's practice this one. Yes, one. Ah, yo pensé que voluntary. No, first you're gonna go to the breakout rooms and practice. Okay. Okay.
Se ha estresado a ti. Tengo que hacer unos sueños. Uh, no, I think I, I was worried because I thought I was not going to be able to teach Todo today due to, the, uh -huh, due to the power outage, but I'm okay. Uh, so before we practice in the main section, I'm going to check attendance since 17 are connected now. So let's turn the cameras and say present as soon as you hear your name. You. Andrea Laurena. Present teacher. Thank you, Andrea. Belen. Belen is here. Uh, Carlos Mario. I think Carlos Mario is on the way, so he's going to join us later. Carmen Rene. Present teacher. Thank you. Delmi Guadalupe. Present. Hi, thank you. Francisco Nehemias. Present, teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Helen Dionelli. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Here's Joanna. Present. Perdón, teacher. No, no pude responder, pero acá estoy. Yes, thank you, Benin. Thank you. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Thank you. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenia Cecilia. Present teacher. Thank you. Maricela del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Maricela. Moises Alberto. I am here, teacher. Thank you, Moises. Rafael Antonio. Rafael Antonio. Noemi Albertina. Yes. Present, teacher. Thank you, Reina Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you, Ruben de Jesus. Present teacher. All right, thank you. And Judy Araceli. Present teacher. Thank you, Judy. Jose Rudy. Jose Rudy. Ana Mercedes. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. María Angélica. María Angélica. Imelda Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Susana, she's never in. Okay, now let me share my screen again so you can see the exercise well this is a conversation that you already practice uh, raise your hand if you want to role play volunteers to role play andrea and juan ricardo okay I'm so okay. broke. I really need to find a job. So though, how do you have any acting good listen? How about this cell phone sales job? You call people and try to sell them magazines. Time second for me. And a way I'm not very good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here is one for you. An assistant enter entertainment director on a cruise ship. Time second, life and lower traveling. And life never been a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship, ship is, is at sea. 
Tie, okay, and then me working long hours. Yes, they pay a good. I drink here aptly, low hip. Thank you so much. Good job, Andrea. Thank you, Juan. Let's listen to Noemi. And who wants to practice with Noemi? I see Carmen. Okay, Noemi and Carmen. Hey, thank you. I, I'm a star, Carmen. Okay. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything with this stuff? How about this telephone sales shop? You call people and try to sell them magazines. That's so boring. And anyway, I'm not very good at stealing. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That song like fun. I love traveling and I've never been on a cruise ship. It say here, you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. I think I apply for it. Excellent job. Thank you so much, Imelda. Thank you, Noemi. Uh, let's see. Um, I see somebody else raise a hand. I think. Tengo la manita levantada de Imelda. No, era Imelda la que estaba antes. <laughs> era René. Good evening. Oh, oh, sí, fue Imelda. Okay, thank you so much. Another two volunteers. No, teacher, I... I, it was, ya me eh, confundí porque René. hay un montón de manitas y ya no las veo. Fui <laughs> yo, teacher Carmen René. Ok, excelente, Carmen. Thank you. Entonces, si falta Imelda y Delmi. Yes. Ok, excelente. Imelda y Delmi, you can go ahead. Ok, okay I'm, I will start. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed? How about this telephone sales job? You call people and try to sell them magazines. That sounds boring. boring. And anyway, I am not very good at selling. Well, I am. I might check the, that one. I might check that one out. Uh, Oh, here's one for you, an assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I love traveling and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here, it says here you have to work every day while the ship is at the sea. That's okay. I don't mean working long hours. If the, if the price is I think I'll apply for it. Okay, very good job. Thank you so much for participating. Remember, this word is mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. This is pay. And here is broke. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Tenemos otros dos voluntarios or we may continue with the program. All right. I have Carlos Mario. And who wants to practice with Carlos Mario? Thank you, Judy. Okay. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. I find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listen? How about this telephone sales job? You call people and try to sell them magazines. That sounds boring. And anyway, I'm not very good at selling. Well, I am. Might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. Uh, an assistant in the time and the... Uh, Entertainment. Um, Entertainment. Director... Oh, great. That sounds like fun. Uh, I like 
I love traveling. I, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to walk every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours. If the pay is good, I think I'll apply for, for it. Okay, excellent job. Thank you so much for your participation. You did it great. Nice. So um, to continue here, we have a uh, germs and the short responses. As we said a couple of days before, if I'm not mistaken, we discussed that not every time that you see ing means a continuous action, right? It is called gerunds and they have different functions in grammatically speaking. So every time that we have a, a like for example, a verb that express an emotion, we need to use the ing in the second verb. For example, here we have love and hate. Those verbs express emotions. If we use another verb after them, the second verb has to take the ing form. So here it says, I love traveling. I hate working, right? And also after a preposition. If you have a verb after a preposition, you need to add ing to that verb. So we have here, I'm good at, and it says use. So I'm good at using a computer, okay? We also said that after mine, we're gonna use ing as well, right? And um, to express agreement, we have discussed that uh, we can use so do I, if it is uh, any, any verb, that is not the be, we use do. If the statement is with the verb be, we reply or we answer using the verb be in the answers, okay, to express agreement. Also, you can express that you disagree with that idea. How does it come? We have, I love traveling. If you agree with that, you say, I, so do I. If you disagree, say, oh, I don't, I don't, right? And we have second example. I hate working on weekend. If you agree, you can say, so do I. If you disagree, it says, really, I like it. This is another way to do it. If it is a with verb B, so it says, I'm good at using a computer. If you agree, you say, so am I. So you're gonna use the verb be. In the same thing, if, if you disagree, you can say, oh, I'm not. Um, in negative statements with germs, we have, I don't mind working long hours. If you agree, remember that the, the sentence is negative. So we can use uh, to agree, you say, neither do I. Or if you disagree, say, oh, I do. Right. Then we have another example. I'm not good at selling. So if you might see here, it's with the verb be. So we said neither am I. If you disagree, you could say, well, I am. In this case, in this one, it's used with the auxiliary can. So it says, I can't stand commuting. So you use the same auxiliary to express that you agree. Neither can I, right? If you disagree, oh, I don't mind. So it, it is, um, if you disagree, so it may change, it may vary. Another verbs or phrase followed by germs is like uh, we said before, if you are uh, using a verb like to express an emotion such as like, enjoy, love or hate, after that kind of verbs, if you use another verb, that second verb has to take the ing form. And also we said that after a preposition, like for example, see here, 
So you can say, I'm interested in, so we have the proposition here. So I'm interested in learning a um, second language. That could be. Is there any questions or are we clear with this? Is this clear? Teacher, la última parte no la comprendí bien. In this one. Yes. Uh, este es como un resumen de lo que les mencionaba al principio. Eh, dice que otros verbos o frases que pueden ser seguidas por gerunds eh, es like y enjoy, que como ya habíamos dicho, son verbos que expresan emoción. Like, enjoy, es igual love y hate, eh, son verbos que expresan emoción. Si después de ese verbo vamos a usar otro, ese segundo verbo tiene que tomar a ng form. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, um, a mí me gusta... Eh, Algo que me guste, um, I, uh, me gusta el, el eh, cocinar, um, puede ser, me gusta tomar café en las mañanas. I like drinking coffee in the morning, okay? Oh, or teach. Uh, I like teaching, uh -huh. pues so, después de esos verbos que expresan emociones, si voy a usar otro verbo después, ese verbo toma forma de I am. Amilch. Y también, bueno, si vimos aquí, también después de una preposición, tenemos aquí la preposición at, I'm good at using a computer, y esta es otra que podría ser otra opción, la preposición in, estoy interesado en tal cosa. Si después de la preposición va un verbo, este verbo también va a tomar ing form. Por ejemplo, podemos decir, estoy interesado en aprender un eh, segundo lenguaje. Entonces, el verbo aprender que sería learn, tendría que ir en ING. Por ejemplo, I am interested in learning a second language. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Question. Question. Yes, Juan. What is your question? I allow, allow traveling and we can a confirm um, uh, working. Me está dando un ejemplo. I love working on weekends. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es correcto. Me encanta. Amo trabajar los fines de semana. I love <laughs> working on weekends. <laughs> that might be. Eh, ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta o estamos claros con esto? ¿Y esto siempre se van a utilizar? Sí, siempre. Es que lo que les mencionaba, los gerunds se conocen como los ING. No siempre ING. que vemos que algo termina en ING quiere decir que es un tiempo progresivo. Es como decir, um, si yo digo I'm teaching, es lo que estoy haciendo ahorita. Y sigo, eh, sí estoy enseñando, I'm teaching. Ese es un tiempo presente progresivo. Pero no siempre que vea ING quiere decir que es una acción en progreso, sino que los germs, que son los gerundios, tienen diferentes funciones gramaticales o diferentes usos. Por ejemplo, aquí, eh, si yo dijera I love travel, sería yo gustar viajar. Entonces, es como en ese sentido, es que en inglés la gramática pide de que si usted va a poner otro verbo después de... Eh, en estos casos es común poner un verbo después de otro que haya expresado emoción. Entonces, para que eso no suene como dos verbos en el mismo tiempo, sonaría como cavernícola. El segundo verbo es el que se altera. Y se puede hacer de dos formas. Puede eh, tomarlo con ing, que es el germ, o puede separarlo con el infinitivo. Infinitivo significa usar to. Por ejemplo, yo podría decir, I love to travel. Entonces, con así el to, o oh, I love yo. traveling. ¿Ah? Así lo había entendido en otros módulos, que estaba el to para un sí. segundo verbo. Para un segundo verbo lo puede hacer de esas dos formas, o poner el segundo en infinitivo usando to, I love to travel, o hacerlo yearn, I love traveling, pero no puedo decir I love to traveling, eso sería incorrecto. O lo digo con to travel o traveling. I love to travel o I love traveling. 
Un yearn también puede Hello. iniciar una oración, como les mencionaba ayer. Son diferentes funciones. Se puede las... decir así. I love you traveling. I do I'm using. Ah, ahí ya no se puede hacer así. El verbo, no, no podemos poner varios verbos en ING porque no, no sería correcto. Teacher, I, I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, what is the meaning of I can't stand commuting? Commuting es cuando usted se traslada. Eh, generalmente eh, eh, el commuting tiene que ver con el, el movilizarse. Esto es, por ejemplo, si yo puedo decir mi trayecto al trabajo eh, dura, que puede ser media hora sin mucho tráfico, my commute to work. My, my commute to work is 30 minutes. To work. Mm -hmm. 30 minutes. Ok, ok. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Que sea es una hora, que sea en la, este, I have to meet, I want, I want, bueno, ahí, Is there any other question? So we commute every day, right? So todos los días nos trasladamos de algún lugar a otro. So that is commute. Okay. Um, I commute for an hour. Or my commute is one hour. My commute to work is an hour. Or it lasts an hour. Yes. Mm -hmm. No podemos decir my travel to work or my, my no. So it, you use commute. Utiliza la palabra o el verbo commute para decir el trayecto. Mm -hmm. Su desplazamiento, el trayecto. So that's good. Eh, me alegra. Están aprendiendo nuevos vocabularios. Repasamos estamos también los de los eh, germs. Por ahí este... También la compañera recordó que ya había visto algo de esto en módulos anteriores. So estamos como ampliando también lo que ya habíamos visto y repasando. Con el, con so el teacher nice. Francisco. Uh -huh. Ok, so um, let's match the phrases in column A with the one in column B. You can do this in your notebooks and I'm going to give you some time for you to match. Uh, the sentences from part B um, with the complement that is in part B. And this is uh, to make uh, statements about yourself. So there is not a, like to say, oh, that answer is incorrect. No, it is about yourself. For example, something I hate from the list, let's see, talking on the phone, no, working in group 14, some other people problems, sitting in long meetings. Yes, I think I hate that. So in my case, I would say I hate sitting in long meetings, okay? Esa sería mi respuesta. So esto es como a, for like, a, for yourself, no es que, ah, este es correcto, este es incorrecto, so it's about you, but you have to match them to make a, a sentences about you, so I'm going to give you some time to do this, you can do it in your notebook, y las pueden escribir, escribir la oración completa, uh, because then we're going to do a uh, group practice.
Have you finished? Finish. Awesome. Now what we are going to do is to get in groups and we are going to practice them. Um, as here it's saying, um, oh my God, I'm sorry. Okay, um, let's see, uh, we're going to um, make groups and uh, practice saying the sentences, saying our sentences, like for example, this one, we have someone in the group said, I hate working on weekends. I hate working on weekends. And someone else can say, so do I. Or maybe someone can say, I don't. Right? Is that clear what you're going to do? So, tienen que practicar diciendo las oraciones. Por ejemplo, si yo le dijera a Delmi, Delmi, um, Delmi, I hate, uh, I hate talking on the phone. I hate talking on the phone. What about you? Delmi me tiene que decir eh, una respuesta si ellos agree o disagree. Delmi podría decir. So, so do I. So do I. A ella también odia estar hablando en teléfono. So do I. Entonces luego del mí ah. le dice I hate lo que ella puso con I hate a otro del grupo. Y este otro del grupo le contesta si es agree, si está de acuerdo con eso o en disagree. Ok. Usando lo que tienen acá. Recuerden que esto lo tienen en su en la presentación también y está habilitada la pantallita para que compartan. So this is a speaking activity and we're going to make it in groups. So let me create them.
Okay, um, let's ask some questions here. How do you feel about, I'm going to start reading and someone else is going to continue, asking for help. Next, Carmen. Como teacher. Uh, let's read, uh, this is another speaking activity, the right job. We are okay. going to, um, to first thing, how does we feel about doing the, the things that are in the list? So we're going to um, read the list in order to practice pronunciation and clarify vocabulary. I'm going to start, the first one is, asking for help. You read the second one. Using a computer. Using a computer, okay, Andrea. Leading a team. Leading a team, okay. Marisela del Carmen. Delmi. Sorry teacher. Um... Noemi? Dating is British. Traveling. Uh, traveling. Traveling. Okay, Judy? Creating, creating spreadsheets. Creating spreadsheets. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Moises? Talking on the phone. Talking. Talking, mm -hmm. talking okay. on the phone. Thank you, okay. Carlos Mario. Working with people. Thank you so much, Rafael Antonio. Working with numbers. Um, I think it says one meeting. Meaning deadline. 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 Teacher, meeting deadline. Yes, meeting deadlines. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Meeting deadlines. Uh, Kenya? Working on the weekend. 
Working on the weekend. Very good. Helen? Public speaking. Mm, managing money. Managing money. Jose Arnoldo? Telling people what to do. Thank you so much. Imelda? Working with numbers. Working with numbers. Okay. And the last one, Menedemo? Public speaking. My speaking, pardon. Public speaking. Public Public Mm -hmm. Okay, public speaking. Okay, if there is, uh, is there some new vocabulary here? Yes, uh, teacher, uh, sorry, what is the meaning of meeting deadline, deadlines? Meeting deadline es como cumpliendo plazos o eh, sería como, por ejemplo, a usted le dicen, eh, Necesito este reporte para mañana a las nueve. Esa es su deadline. Ese es su plazo hasta las nueve. Uh -huh. Es okay. como el límite de tiempo que usted tiene. Uh -huh. Thank you. Eso significa deadline. Muy bien. Any other question? Uh, what is the meaning of spreadsheet? Las spreadsheets son las hojas de cálculo. Hojas de cálculo. Serían okay, las de Excel, pero usualmente son las de Excel, hojas de cálculo. Ok. Spreadsheets. What is the meaning? Managing money. Managing money es manejar dinero. Any other question? Is there any other question? No teacher. Okay, so now in this, we are going to ask questions to our classmates. So, and you have to select one people at the time, right? Como preguntarle, how do you feel about, esa sería la pregunta, como ven acá arriba, how do you feel about, y le preguntan eh, de la lista, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, digamos que vamos a practicar con Noemí. Yo le hago la primera pregunta y Noemí va a contestar. I enjoy it. I don't mind it. O I hate it. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos claros con esto? I enjoy it. I don't mind it. Or I hate it. Problem. ¿Mm? Ok. Estamos bien con eso. ¿O hay preguntas ahí? Eh, we I have... am done being hit. Uh, teacher, uh, we have to explain or answer or just answer. say? Primero solo decir, vaya, por ejemplo, le preguntamos a Noemi. Noemi, how do you feel about asking for help? I, I enjoy it. You enjoy it. Okay. And how do you feel about using a computer, Noemi? Um, mm, I don't mind it. What about leading a team? How do you feel about leading a team? I hate it. <laughs> okay. And how do you feel about traveling? I enjoy it. And how do you feel about creating a spreadsheet? Mm -hmm. I hate it. Okay. And how do you feel about talking on the phone? I don't mind it. How do you feel about working with people? I, I don't mind it. Ok. Y ya después que le hemos preguntado todo, eh, no le gusta hacer hojas de cálculo, pero sí puede pedir ayuda. No manejar un equipo, no, pero sí le gusta viajar. Entonces, ¿cuál sería... Eh, El, el, un trabajo que ella podría hacer bien. I think that you could be a good salesperson because you like traveling. 
and you have to move here and there to <laughs> sell things and you like to use a computer you don't mind asking for help etc 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 so you i think that you can be a good salesperson okay, okay. and carmen do you have a question yes teacher the expression i don't mind it uh, is not bad no Muy buena pregunta, René. El I don't mind it se, tras, se, se, se interpreta como un no me importa. Pero él es, no es más bien, es como decir no me molesta. I don't mind it es no me molesta. No tengo Una problema mala, con hacerlo. No tengo problema con hacerlo. Pero si yo digo I don't care, eso sí es, es, es rude. Eso sí es, es mm, agresivo. El decir I don't care es como no me importa. Ese sí es agresivo. But I don't mind it, it's como no me molesta. I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. No es que lo disfrute, no lo odio, no me molesta. I, es como un me da igual. Es como me da igual, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, teacher. Muy bien, buenísima pregunta. Any other question? Ok, so, si no hay más preguntas, hay que hacer esta actividad, es en grupo y pues eh, ya después que el compañero nos digan todo lo que um, eh, nos complete la, la encuesta, vamos a ver qué podría ser un buen trabajo. Could it be a good supervisor? Could that person be good at um, uh, like um, at human resource department, maybe working as, a, as HR? Or um, could that person be a good teacher? Or could that person be a good accountant? Because this person likes or enjoy uh, creating a spreadsheet. This person enjoys working with number. So you can say, oh, you could be a good accountant, okay? So it's como de en base a lo que nos respondan decir que, que ocupación sería bueno eh, haciendo. Are we clear on this? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's join rooms again so we can continue. Eso es para practicar siempre speaking y practicar con el vocabulario nuevo que al menos unas tres palabras aprendimos nuevas de esta lista. Así lo vamos a practicar y se nos va a ir quedando. Por eso es importante que participen en los breakout rooms.
Howley, Hurley, Teacher. Okay, we're going to check attendance before we finish. I know that some of you joined recently because yes, we experienced some issues with the power or internet. So let's see, here's the file. Okay, I have, a, I didn't have Carlos Mario, are you here? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Let's see, I'm also missing Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Yes, yeah, teacher, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Thank Rafael you. Antonio Barrientos. Present, teacher. Good. Uh, Jose Rudy uh, is not here. Uh, Maria Angelica. No. Maria Angelica mm, and Susana. The rest, I see that you're still here. A los demás, este, sí estaban desde el principio, solo eran ustedes que quizás se unieron despuesito que había pasado lista la primera vez. But uh, nice that you are here again. So um, the next exercise that we have there, it's listening. Let me share. And here is in the presentation. This is what you have is job hunting. We're going to listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. And we have to, uh, I know that you maybe didn't have a chance to uh, print this, but you can work in your notebook and write the job that would be best for each person. We have bill and the options for the bill is flight attendant, teacher, some writer. Then we have Shannon, uh, options for her lawyer, bookkeeper, and doctor. For Ben, we have a marine biologist, model, and architect. So we're going to listen and you can write number one, Bill, number two, Shannon, number three, Ben, and then you check the job or you write. In this case, vamos a escribir el trabajo que ustedes eh, escuchen que sería lo mejor para cada una de estas personas. Van a escribirlo. Ya no lo vamos a chequear porque sí que no tenemos impreso el material. So let's do this listening. Uh, are we clear with the instructions? Now let me uh, play the audio so we can complete this one. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Okay, uh, here we are. Uh, ready for the listening? I hope you are. Reading teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh, teacher, just a question. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the meaning of bookkeeper? Uh, bookkeeper is the same as an accountant. Okay. Page 66, exercise six, listening. Job hunting, part A. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. One, Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. Two, Shannon. 
What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. 3. Ben What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9 to 5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Did you get all the answers or you want to listen again? I'm ready. Teacher, I'm ready too. Okay, so what is the number one, Imelda? Fly attendant. Fly attendant. I think it's, it's correct. Excellent job. Uh, volunteer for number two. Doctor? Teacher, teacher. She want to be a doctor. 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 Excellent. Excellent for the ones who have doctor. And the number three? Model. She want to be model. a model. Model. Excellent. Model. So those were the answers. So let's listen again and answer these questions. You can write the answers in your notebook and that say, what kind of job is Bill not interested in? What is his attitude towards making money? What do Shannon's family members do for a living? What does she want to do before she gets a job? What has Ben done to break into movies? And what does he show the interviewer? Okay, so we're going to listen again and answer these questions. Are the questions clear or is there any new word or some phrases you, you're not able to understand? Clear, oh. Tisha. Clear. Okay, perfect. Yes. So I'm going to play the recording again and try to get all that information to answer the questions. Page 66, Exercise 6, Part B. Listen again. Answer these questions. 1. Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. Two, Shannon. What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country but that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. Three, Ben. What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular nine to five job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies, but I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day, I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Ready to answer the questions? 
yes, no I question. Think. Yeah. Okay, a volunteer to answer the question number one. You can raise your hand. Well, uh, he is not interested. Sorry, Imelda. Sorry. Uh, he's not interested in an office job. Excellent. He is not interested in an office job. Excellent. Thank you so much, Imelda. A volunteer for number two. Juan Ricardo. Why is a tear do to work marking money? La respuesta necesitamos, ¿cuál sería? Okay, Kenya, no. do you have the answer? So yes, we, so we are not interesting in the money at the moment. Excellent. He's not interested in money now, right? Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, volunteer for number three. Nobody got the number three? What does Shannon's family members do for a living? His family is all I liars. Uh, they I are I... in law or business. business. Uh -huh. Excellent. They are in law or business. Uh, number four, what does she want to do before she gets a job? Do you remember? Studying the at the medical school. Uh, yes. Yeah, she wants to go to medical school. Excellent. Now, what has been done to break into movies? <clears throat> they take pictures. Pictures. He has kept fit and has taken acting lessons. Okay. And what does he show the interviewer? Some pictures. Uh, album with yes. his pictures in He a shows city. her some professional photos of himself. <laughs> okay. So you did an excellent job with the listening. Hicieron muy bien con el listening, so that's nice of you. So uh, we're going to stop here, and I have a Noemi for the uh, 101. So if you can stay for a couple of minutes, Noemi, we will be, uh, it will be appreciated. And the rest of you, Thanks. you can go to sleep. Thank you for joining, and see you tomorrow. Thank see you, teacher. Tomorrow. 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 Hey, everybody. Good night. Good night. Goodbye. Good night. 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 Blessings. Okay, Naomi, how are you feeling? ¿Cómo está hoy? ¿Cómo se siente? Mm, I'm feeling very good. Very good. What about the classes? How do you feel with the classes? I, mm, I, I, I was learning uh, a lot okay. in, in, this, in this course. Nice to hear that. And what kind of exercise do you think that help you more? Or is there some specific exercise that you would like for me to implement during the classes? Well, um, I think that um, 
he helped help me uh, about the videos because um, I feel that I I I understand uh, better that that um, two months ago, for example. Okay, Nasty, you you have developed your listening more lately, right? Because we have been practicing with the videos, so you like the videos. Yes, yes, I like the videos. Um, is the is new for me uh, because the in the course um, the last course uh, um, no no veíamos muchos videos. Ah, okay. And you, okay, I'm going to look for more videos. Um, also, and you're telling me the videos from YouTube or the others that I sent about, about uh, idioms or both? No, both. Both, okay. I have some of them for idioms and I'm going to send to you tomorrow during the class. Anything else that you like or you want to have more in the class? Um, well, um, uh, I I think uh, I need to to learn uh, more more uh, vocabulary and um, and more uh, uh, um, the the meaning of the words, the grammar. Um, and the pronunciation. Okay, so we will continue uh, uh, doing what we can so you can have more vocabulary. Like I think that in today's class, you learned a couple of new words, right? And the meaning. Yes. Okay, nice to hear that. So I'm going to try to um, finish the sections number three and four of the INSA fourth material, but also I'm going to continue including this kind of exercises so you can have more vocabulary and more chance to practice your pronunciation. Yes, the, this exercise uh, is, is, was very good, very good, very good. And uh, because the my my partners, uh, for example, Juan Ricardo Menedemo, y sí me sorprendió. <laughs> yes, he is improving, right? Yo veo que él está mejorando. Bastante, bastante. Yes. Y nice. es muy bueno, muy bueno es esos ejercicios, porque um, and, um, tam, también el, the, the more time, uh, the, the exercise, uh, with more time, it help, help us to, to, uh, to practice it, the conversation. Yes. Nice, yes, I'm trying to give you more time for you and um, I'm going to keep on doing that. Thank you for letting me know, Nomi, thank you so much. Any recommendation or something you would like for me to change? Uh, no, no for a moment, teacher, no for a moment. Y yo estoy bien agradecida por, por la manera como nos está enseñando. He aprendido bastante, bastante. Yo tenía <coughs> quizás este, la misma expectativa del, de, del curso anterior, pero yo siento que con usted he aprendido más. Hoy entiendo un poco mejor. Excellent. That's nice of you to tell me that. It, uh, eso me, hace, me, me motiva a seguir haciéndolo así. Y pues gracias por hacérmelo saber. Esto es como estoy haciendo trabajo extra, buscando material, pero sí. qué bueno saber que sí les ha gustado y que les está funcionando. Me alegra y me motiva, de verdad. Gracias por sus palabras, Noemi. Thank you. Thank you a usted, teacher. Y yo espero lo que sí quiero es hablar fluido, porque eso sí lo que me está costando, como hilar y hilar las palabras. Uh -huh. Tienen que practicar más. Yo creo que lo que ayuda bastante es escribir, porque a veces es como eso que usted dice, como um, unir las palabras, es lo que a veces cuesta, porque estamos como hablando a puras oraciones, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, eso estaba pensando hacer ya quizás la última semana, buscar ejercicios donde ustedes conecten ideas, porque uh -huh. conectando ideas tal vez primero nos toca escribir, ¿verdad? 
eh, para conectar ideas y hacer un párrafo pequeño utilizando esos conectores y después esos mismos conectores le sirven a uno para hablar más fluido. Entonces okay. ya lo había considerado para la última semana. Vamos a, so, quiero buscarles material bonito eh, para que usen conectores en un párrafo y ayudarles con eso también. Ok, muchas gracias, teacher. Ok, gracias a usted, Noemí, gracias por su tiempo y entonces este, espero, primero Dios, eh, verla en clases mañana. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome, sleep well. See you tomorrow. Thank you, good night. Good night. Tomorrow. See you, bye. Bye.